Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are located. Thank you all so much for joining Railbookers for today's exciting presentation. Folks, any questions that you may have, please feel free to type those away in your question box located on the right-hand side of your screen, and we will save time to answer any questions that you may have at the end of today's presentation. Also, please stick around until the end of today's presentation as we have an exciting special offer to share with each and every one of you for being kind enough to join us here today. Today's presentation is scheduled to be about 30 to 45 minutes, give or take, including questions. So hope you could join us all the way through. And folks, please be sure to check that your device speakers are unmuted. And with that in mind, let's get started. Today, we are here to talk about single a country vacations by rail. My name is Jim Marini. We'll probably be your host here today. By the way, our phone number is listed at the bottom of many of the slides that I'm presenting on here today. So feel free to jot that down, 1-888-829-3040. You can give us a call. We are open Monday through Friday from 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time to 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You also, of course, has, have the option, as always, to reach out and book any of these exciting trips through your local travel advisor. So with that in mind, let's begin. Now, for those of you who may not be as familiar with Rail Bookers, we are part of the Yankee Elysia Group family of brands. And if you look on the left-hand side of your screen, folks, our sister brand, yes, is Amtrak Vacations, the official tour operator in the world for Amtrak. And what does that mean? Amtrak Vacations, they do everything from literally three, four, five day weekend, week long getaways to one and two weeks long across the country out to some of the beautiful national parks. So if any of you just want to get out of your houses, you want to visit family and friends in other parts of the country, maybe you have a special anniversary or birthday coming up or you had it last year and you weren't able to celebrate it and maybe you feel a little more comfortable traveling domestically initially before traveling internationally eventually, well then our sister brand Amtrak Vacations has you covered. Now, today's focus, it is about Railbookers. And Railbookers, as you can see on the title of the brochure, it is our worldwide independent rail holidays, our worldwide independent rail vacations, trips throughout Canada, Europe, even within Alaska, as well as around the world. So lots of great options today. However, we're going to focus on five fantastic single countries, all located within Europe. Now, here's some exciting news to share with all of you. For any of you who want to travel locally initially, as I mentioned again with Amtrak Vacations, our sister brand, did you know you could travel literally from today? Yes, you can literally leave today, tomorrow, in the next one to two weeks, one to two months, if you want to squeeze in a little quick getaway trip before the end of the year, or certainly plan your trip of a lifetime all the way up to 2023. Now, there's so many reasons why travelers love traveling with rail bookers. And if you look at the top left-hand corner, when you plan and book your trip, you or your travel advisor is speaking to one of our rail experts who know the rail, the best routes, the best times. As I mentioned, again, you could book and travel from today with our sister brand Amtrak Vacations. And with rail bookers, plan your trip today to travel anytime next year or even into 2023. Now, we do have an exciting maximum flexibility offer going on right now, which I'll tell you about in just a little bit. We also have the largest rail of vacation selection of independent style vacations, flexible independent tra travel around the world. And folks, no rail trip is too complicated for us. In fact, any trip can be customized and personalized just the way you would like. And that's a big, big highlight. So what is confusing for most is actually very simple for us. Now, again, many reasons to book right now. Certainly, this is one of those reasons, our maximum flexibility offer. And in fact, folks, this has just been recently extended until January 31st of 2022. So what this means, folks, any new reservation you make with a small deposit of only around $250 per person, as soon as you make your small deposit, before January 31st of next year, anytime from now until January 31st of next year, to travel anytime this year, next year in 2022, or even into 2023, once you have deposited, again, with that small deposit of only $250 per person, if you did need to change or postpone your trip, whatever the reason is, we are waiving any and all change and cancellation fees. Basically, in a nutshell, folks, 
we have overwritten our change and cancellation policy, giving each and every one of you the freedom to change your dates, the duration, or even the destination of your vacation. Now, as I mentioned today, it is about Europe. So before I move into the top five single countries that you can travel to by rail, this right here is the rail network across Europe. And if you look at all those beautiful, colorful lines, folks, those represent all the different trains within Europe. And here's what I always say. None of those trains actually talk to each other. Many of them are, as you can see, in different countries. They have different policies, procedures. When you book with rail bookers or you book through your local travel advisor who books with rail bookers, we package it all together. And as you'll see today, we do way more than just rail tickets. Now, certainly any of you look at a travel in the near future as early as even as early as the fall of this year or certainly any time in 2022, until further notice, facial coverings would be required on board the trains as well as the train stations, just like they are here in the United States on any airlines, just like they are on board Amtrak or any of the city buses. On some cases, they have stopped the sale of food and drink on board the trains. But for any of you that have ever traveled on board the trains in Europe, many of the train stations have their own little cafes, bakeries, restaurants, or certainly within blocks of the train station. So you can always certainly pick up any type of little goodies before boarding. Also, they have changed the seat configuration and allocation on board to allow for more room between passengers. They've increased the cleaning and sanitation protocol on board the trains at the train stations. And when you or your travel advisor books with rail bookers, everything is electronic. So we email the tickets, the electronic tickets, the documents that you could certainly print out on your own if you'd like to have paper copies. Otherwise, they will accept any electronic versions as well. All right, let's move into these top five single countries that you could travel to on board some of these fantastic trains. Starting out with the best of the Emerald Isle by rail. Yes, Ireland, folks. All right, one of my absolute favorite countries. Obviously, no language barrier here. Now, if you look at the map on the right hand side, all those dotted lines that you see from one destination to another, those represent the train. All right. Any of the single lines, the thick single lines, those represent a motor coach transfer. So this is a nice combination of both rail and road. And that's right here in Ireland, otherwise known as the best of the Emerald Isle. And as you'll see, this trip features Killarney, Galway, Dublin, Belfast. Just an awesome area. Now, if you're looking for a country with some of the most beautiful countrysides, rolling green hills, that's Ireland. If you're looking for a country that has some of the most magnificent castles in all of Europe, that's also Ireland. And speaking of castle, how about the Blarney Castle? I remember when I went here years ago, folks, and certainly for any of you that have been here, uh, it's a little bit of a steep walkway all the way up to the top. But once you get to the top, folks, absolutely some of the most beautiful views of the countryside in Ireland. Also right nearby the Blarney Castle, they have the Blarney Woolen Mills where you can buy authentic sweaters and jackets, all handmade, pretty awesome. Now nearby, it's also the Cliffs of Moher, overlooking the majestic Atlantic Ocean. And again, these are some of the sites you'll see, and that's what's great about our trips, as you'll see as I go through here today, because they're all independent style vacations, flexible, independent travel, on certain days, we will include sightseeing tours with local tour guides. It may be two or three hours one day, it could be a half a day, or it could even be a full day. It depends on which destination you are traveling to and when, but guess what? You'll also have free time to explore on your own as well. And speaking of free time, Dublin, right? The capital city of Ireland, over 1.5 million residents right here in this great city. If you are looking for some great little restaurants, great cuisine, right? Great nightlife. You know, one thing that always stood out to me when I think about Ireland was actually right here in Dublin, folks. When I traveled here many years ago, I was traveling with some fellow coworkers and in the evenings, we would go visit some of those pubs and restaurants and bars and just, you know, enjoy just being in the city and meeting some of the locals. But one thing that always stands out to me is so many of the establishments in the restaurants in the in the pubs um 
had folks of all ages. You'd have, you know, folks in their 20s and 30s, and you'd also have folks in their 60s and 70s, and everyone in between at many of these different pubs and restaurants, all singing together, playing instruments together. And I remember thinking, wow, you don't see that that often. Whether you're here in the United States or Canada, you'll typically go to areas where it's a little more uh, similar ages at some of these different fun establishments. Well, Ireland, everyone and anyone is welcome and Dublin is certainly no different. Now, Belfast, obviously lots of history here. You get some great churches, great museums up in this area. So keep Ireland in mind. The next destination, Spain. And in fact, I'll give you a little hint, folks. There's actually two trips to Spain, right? Because you actually have two opportunities to travel by train in this fantastic country. So this is the first one that I'm going to highlight. This is our classic Spain. And as you can see, folks, 15 days. I mean, this is going to give you a great flavor of Spain. So if any of you have Spain on your wish list, your bucket list, all right, if again, maybe you want to make up for lost time and you want to see as much of this great country as possible, well, here's a great trip to consider. And I will mention all the pricing that you see in today's presentation, it's based in double occupancy. So per person, two to a room. We do have single rates available as well. So if any of you are a solo or single traveler, just let us or let your local travel advisor know. And I did want to mention one other point before I move into this particular trip. If you look at the map, folks, on the right-hand side, obviously not only do the dotted lines represent the trains, but the number two, the number three in a round circle that you see, that just tells you how many nights you're overnighting in each of these great areas. As you can see, three nights in Madrid, two nights in Seville, two in Cordoba, so on and so forth. But if you want to add extra nights in any particular city, or maybe if you don't want three nights in one city and you only want two nights, if you're trying to stay within a certain price point or a certain amount of days, any trip that I'm highlighting here today or any trips that Railbookers offers can be customized. But again, this is our classic Spain featuring Madrid, Seville, Cordoba, Granada, Malaga, and Barcelona. Now Madrid, created in the year 860 AC. Imagine that. That's one thing that always fascinates me also, folks, as I'm sure it does for many of you, is just the history of so many of these fantastic cities and countries within Europe. Now, this is the capital city of Spain, considered one of the four richest cities, most wealthiest cities in all of Europe. And in this city, it actually has the oldest restaurant in the world right here in Madrid, the oldest restaurant in the world, known as Sabrino di Botin. Now, in Madrid, the Prado Museum is a must. And as I mentioned, again, on all of our trips, we do include sightseeing tours during many of the visits to some of these great cities with a local tour guide, as well as allowing each of you to have free time. You see, unlike a traditional escorted bus tour, a traditional escorted or guided bus tour where typically you'll start at 6 a.m. from 6 to 8 in the morning it's breakfast from 8 to 12 it's sightseeing from 12 to 2 it's lunch from 2 to 5 it's more sightseeing from 5 to 7 it's dinner from 7 p.m. on there's an evening activity and that's most days on a guided escorted bus tour what we do is again on certain days you may have a half a day or a full day guided tour with a local tour guide but guess what folks Later that day or in the afternoon, you'll have free time to explore on your own. So if you want to spend more time right here at the Prado Museum, you could cer certainly do that. You may want to go to the Plaza Mayor, which is another iconic area within Madrid. Some great little shops, restaurants. From there, it's off to Sevilla, another great area within Spain. And again, being here, having some of the local tour guides, on some of your city tours is such a great way to learn about the history, including, including the Plaza de España, another great area. Now again, Cordoba, lots of history here, lots of history, not to mention some of the unique architecture. And speaking of history, how about the great mosque cathedral of Cordoba? Again, just some of the most amazing scenery is all here within one country, which is why we have not one, but two exciting trips to consider to Spain. As I mentioned, also includes Malaga, Granada, as you just saw, and then Barcelona, known for its unique 
very unique type of architecture. All right, the Baroque, just an absolute amazing city to experience. Spain actually prides itself on having the most UNESCO World Heritage Sites in the world. And Spain, of course, as we all know, has such a great, um, just such a great uh, reputation around the world. In fact, over 400 million people in the world speak Spanish. So again, just an awesome, awesome city. And in Barcelona, lots of history with Picasso. And in fact, the Picasso Museum is a must. By the way, when you're there in Spain, make sure to experience paella and some of the great local cuisine. All right. And here is one of the most iconic sites in Barcelona, the cathedral. Now, as I mentioned, it's not just one, but it's two exciting trips to Spain. And here is another one. Now, this one, folks, features really one of the most impressive and most well-known trains in all of Europe. Transcanta Brico, Transcanta Brico, all right? And this is a luxury train. This also, as you can see, includes Madrid, but it also includes San Sebastian, which I'll tell you about in just a minute. Now, when you are in Madrid, there's other great sites to see, such as the Royal Monastery. And again, on all of our itineraries, and we have many different itineraries to choose from, we do include local sightseeing tours and also give you free time to explore on your own. Now, San Sebastian, this is a resort town known for its beautiful beaches. And in fact, as many of you know, Spain is one of those destinations in Europe that Europeans travel to for sun and fun vacations, just like so many folks here in the States or Canada would travel to Florida or travel to California and some of the warmer destinations in the US. Well, Spain is one of those countries that even so many local Europeans love to escape to. Now, as I mentioned, this right here is the luxury train, all right? Only fits about 28 passengers. Crosses northern Spain, all right, along the Bay of Biscay. And what's neat about this train, and there's not a lot of trains like this, folks, within Europe, it is also a train that offers overnight accommodations as well. You see, most trains in Europe, they're either high-speed trains, they're local trains where they'll travel during the day, or iconic trains where in some cases, the high-speed trains will go up to 200 miles per hour. Now, this is not one of those trains. This is a luxury train, but also one of the trains in Europe that allows you to overnight on board the train. And there are different types of accommodations. They actually have seven sleeper cars, four saloon cars, yes, believe it or not, and a five-course meal served throughout. So again, just an awesome experience. If you're looking for a luxury train, and here's what I'll mention to all of you. If any of you have ever been on any river cruises, if you've ever been on Rocky Mountaineer in Canada, all right, or if, guess what, if you haven't done either, but you have a special anniversary or birthday coming up, why not make up for lost time or certainly celebrate that special occasion? And you can do that in Spain on the luxury train. Now, this also includes Santiago de Compostela as well another great area and again madrid now folks here's the beautiful part when it comes to rail bookers we can pretty much take care of everything for you along with your travel advisor from not only the trains throughout any of these great countries but the sightseeing tours many of the meals activities all right even ferries pretty much the only thing we do not book are flights and that's another great reason why to always consider booking through your local travel advisor because not only are they able to book any of these exciting trips that I'm highlighting here today, but they can also book your flights as well. You see, the best part is, folks, and I know I mentioned this earlier, but any of our trips can be customized. So if you look in the top left-hand corner and you look at all the yellow lines, you can add on any destination. Now, these examples happen to be in Switzerland. But it could be in Spain, it could be in Ireland, it could be any destination that I'm highlighting here today. So if you want to add on any destination or any city or visit family, some of you, if you have family in this, these areas, you can certainly do that. You could take a trip round trip. You can book a trip in reverse. You can upgrade to first class. You see, that's the nice part with Railbookers, folks. Not only do we partner 
with all the local trains, the high speed trains, the luxury trains, just like I just showed everyone. All right, as well as the iconic trains, but we can also book the different categories of service on board the trains and so much more from hotels ranging from three, four, and five star. Yes, all on the same trip. You could even be at a three, four, and five star hotel on the same trip. All right, maybe the first city you're in a three star hotel near the airport when you arrive just to get settled in. The second city, it's a four star. And the third city, it's a five star. And maybe when you're in that third city, maybe that's when you're celebrating your anniversary or birthday. Again, we have departures all throughout the year. All right, the last two folks, the last two trips I wanna share with all of you, a few folks is France, as you can see here, otherwise known as our grand tour of France, including, of course, Betty, Paris, and by the way, you can see some of those great highlights that are all included on every tour on the left-hand side with the highlights. But this is a real treat because again, you're traveling on board the high-speed train where yes, it can go up to 200 miles per hour. Now this is a real treat folks because not only do you get a chance to spend a couple nights in the great city of Paris where folks, if you have never been here, eating at those outdoor cafes, and bakeries and restaurants is such such a way of life. It's such an awesome opportunity. And certainly right here in the United States and Canada, as many of us know, as many restaurants have opened up outdoor patios and outdoor seating. Well, folks, Europeans have been doing that for years. That's the way so many of them have always operated. And I can certainly say firsthand for myself personally, going to so many restaurants here and being able to sit outdoors especially when you have a nice day out and the weather's beautiful, really reminds me of Europe. And there's so much to see here. They even offer a sign river cruise as well, like a boat cruise in the evening that you could take. So there's also some great options that you can also build into your package. Now, Strasbourg, as you can see, looking at this, has almost like a German type of uh, architecture, as if you'd see this town in Germany. Well, folks, it actually sits right on the German border, which is why you see this type of architecture, but this is in France. Lyon, another great city, again, included in this package. Avignon, now we're traveling more into the southern region of France, what in what's known as the French Riviera, and that is in Nice, right here, folks. Believe it or not, Tina Turner, for those of you familiar with Tina Turner, right? One of the greatest singers ever here in the United States, actually owns a home in Nice. In fact, many celebrities own homes in the French Riviera. So keep this package in mind because it also includes Marseille, Bordeaux, which is the wine region. So if France is on your wish list, your bucket list, you certainly will not be disappointed. And the last trip I wanna highlight is really one of those countries that in all of my years in travel, and folks, I've been in the travel industry over 25 years, this is one of those countries I've never heard, not one person ever not absolutely love. And if you have been to Switzerland before, if you have been to the Canadian Rockies before, then consider Norway. And the reason is some of the scenery has lots of similarities. So not only in some of the great areas such as Oslo, which is the capital of Norway, located along the southern coast, has some great museums where you'll learn all about the Viking history, also has some great options where you can add on additional activities such as the Oslo Opera House, but also again, the scenery. And you're gonna certainly visit and see that firsthand when you travel to Flam, just a quaint little town and village. It's beautiful, colorful buildings and homes. And also you travel on the train, known as the Flam Railway, otherwise known as the Flamsbana, considered to be one of the top 10 most scenic trains in all of Europe. Absolutely amazing. Now, some of you might also be cruising or planning to cruise the fjords of Norway. Well, why not extend your trip? Why not go out a little bit earlier or stay a week later and see more that Norway has to offer? And do you remember I mentioned to all of you at the beginning, if you've been to Switzerland, if you've been to the Canadian Rockies, and I'll even take it one more step. If you've also been to New Zealand, 
If you've been to any of those countries or if those are on your wish list, this has very similar type of scenery. Bergen, another great area, very popular fishing industry. This is located along the southwestern coast, has some great outdoor markets, right? You can buy the fresh seafood, also some great little souvenirs, and just soak in the beautiful sights. Folks, those are the top five countries, single countries that you can visit by rail. Now, you certainly have the opportunity to visit us online at railbookers.com if you want to see more and learn more about these five trips or any of the other trips. But the best way, the easiest, the quickest way is picking up that phone, giving us a call or contacting your local travel advisor, who again can book any of these trips. You won't, will not pay a penny extra. And they also can book flights for you as well. Now, as I mentioned right at the beginning of today's presentation, we have a special offer going on right here, right now. All right. Now, here's the good news, folks. You can save up to $350 off per couple. But the sale ends this Friday. And here's all that you need to do. So if you have a pen, a paper, a camera, an iPhone, all right, this is the slide you want to take a picture of or certainly write this down. Any trip that you book with Rail Bookers, as long as you book with a small deposit of only $250 per person before the end of this week, before Friday, September 24th of this week, to travel anytime this year, next year, or even into 2023, as long as you book with that small deposit of only $250 per person approximately, you will automatically qualify to save some additional savings and here's how it works any trips that are between three to six nights you will save up to 150 dollars off per couple if any trips are between seven to nine nights you will save 250 dollars off per couple and folks if any trips are 10 or more nights you will save exactly what you see right here on your screen up to 350 dollars off per couple but again it ends this Friday. So you can book now and travel in the fall of 2022 and be able to take advantage of these extra savings. Why not have something to look forward to? And folks, as I'm sure many of you may have heard recently, the world is starting to open up fast, faster than ever. The US obviously, as many of you may have heard, has just uh, given the green light as of November of this year to allow folks from other countries around the world, fully vaccinated folks to be able to travel into the United States. And so many countries as well within Europe and around the world are also are allowing Americans and Canadians to travel to their countries as well. And every country, the protocols may be a little different from one another. And that's where any of our rail experts can give you those details or certainly your travel advisor, your local travel advisor that you may book through. All right. Before I open it up to your questions, and folks, I do see we have a couple questions that have come in, which is great. On the right-hand side of your screen, let's have a little fun, folks, all right? On the right-hand side of your screen is the question box. If you'd be so kind, everyone, just type in for me, what destinations are you considering for your next vacation? All right, so if everyone would be so kind, I'm gonna give everyone a minute or two, and just type in to your question box on the right-hand side of your screen, what is on your wish list? What is on your bucket list? Where are you looking to travel on your next vacation? All right. So feel free to type that in. It, whoop, we already got lots of answers coming in. Keep them coming, everyone. Fantastic. All right. Type those answers away. All right. We see David. Uh, well, I want to do Scotland and Ireland. Marsha, road trips in the USA. Maria, Scotland. Linda, Switzerland. Ken, England and Scotland. George, Spain, Greece. Uh, David, national parks of the US. OK, thank you. Maria, uh, want to go to Spain and would love to also include Portugal as well. Thank you, Maria. Folks, guess what? We pretty much travel to every single destination that you all typed in, all right? And again, you have the option to not have to worry about driving. And in some cases, driving on the other sides of the roads, right? The other side of the road, depending on which country, why not travel by train and relax and enjoy the scenery along the journey? Because one thing's for sure, when you fly from one destination to a next, 
The clouds look the same anywhere we fly in the world. So why not see more of these beautiful countries? Now, folks, for any of you that may have joined us a little bit later, again, we are open Monday through Friday from 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time to 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. That phone number is listed in the bottom left-hand corner. You can visit us online or even better, contact a local travel advisor who, again, can also book any flights for all of you in addition to any of these fantastic packages. All right, with that in mind, let's go through. Oh, oh thank you so much, Tina. Thank you, thank you, Steve. Appreciate the kind words. All right, uh, let's see. Uh, so, so Mary is asking, uh, when is final payment due? Great. Uh, so deposits on any of these folks would be due initially for whatever trips you would like to um, book. But again, certainly any of you that book before the end of this Friday, you will automatically qualify for additional savings based on the number of nights that your trip is. But as far as final payment, thank you for asking, Mary. Um, typically, it's not due until 60 days prior to departure. 60 days prior to departure. Uh, Timothy is asking, uh, luxury trains. Uh, which luxury trains do you offer around the world as well, in addition to the Transken de Brico? So folks, the Venice Simplon Orient Express, which goes through France, Switzerland, Italy, all right? The Belmont Royal Scotsman. And I know we see a, a couple folks that mentioned Scotland, the Belmont Royal Scotsman. Uh, that is a luxury five-star, five-diamond train. In fact, the only train in the world that actually stops in the evening, or one of the only trains that stops in the evening to overnight before they uh, begin traveling again the next day. Most trains, as we all know, travel through the night as you're sleeping on board. But we also have the Maharaj Express in India. We also have Glacier Express and the Bernin Express in Switzerland. We have the Gan, all right, in Australia, the Trans-Siberian train, otherwise known as the Golden Eagle. Um, in Russia, we have the blue train in South Africa, right? I could go on and on of all the luxury trains. And again, folks, it's not only the luxury trains, it's the high speed trains, the TGV train, Eurostar train, Trenitalia, all right? With, again, these trains can go up to 200 miles per hour, all right? Or over 300 kilometers for any of our friends joining us from Canada. All right, absolutely amazing. So uh, let's see, William, hello, William. Uh, is seating reserved on board the trains? That's a great question, William. Uh, it all depends on where you're looking to travel to and on board what trains. Now, typically when you do overnight on any trains, those seats, of course, are reserved. You'd have your own sleepers, your own private cabins. But if you are in first class, if you are in excellence class, as an example on Glacier Express, all right, which is a seven to eight hour train journey across Switzerland, those seats are reserved. And folks, one suggestion I have for all of you, any country that you're interested in traveling to within Europe or certainly around the world, always consider to upgrade to either business class or first class on board the trains. And the reason being is typically there's less travelers in those categories. Typically they're travelers right? Folks coming from the US, Canada, and around the world, there's also more leg room. There's more room to store luggage. And in some cases, uh, meals are either included or offered at an additional cost, and you get a little extra special treatment. On some cases, you also have um, priority boarding as well. So for a little bit more, it's always that much more of an experience. By the way, you see this picture that you're looking at right here, that beautiful steam train in the background? That's known as the Jacobite steam train, also in Scotland, all right? Also in Scotland. So again, for any of you that did type in Scotland on your wish list, and the Jacobite steam train was made popular by Harry Potter. So if any of you or your children or grandchildren are Harry Potter fans, well, that's the train that you see right here in the picture. Folks, I'm going to give you another minute or two. If anyone has any other questions, I want you to feel free to type those in. And actually, David is typing it. David said, my family and I are already booked to travel to Italy and Switzerland in September of 2022. Cannot wait to go. Thank you so much, David. Appreciate it. Uh, oh, thank you, Lisa. Thank you. Good. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Folks, I just want to say while I'm waiting for any last minute questions, I hope you enjoyed today's presentation. I think you could tell I love what I do and certainly love being in the travel industry. Um, Linda just typed in, how do you get COVID tests before returning? Linda, great question. 
And that's the easiest answer is that's why you want to speak to our rail expert for whatever trip that you're looking to travel to and when, or certainly your local travel advisor, because they can help you and tell you exactly where you would get the COVID test before returning. And again, depending on when you're going will also help as to what may or may not be required when you travel. All right. So thank you so much, Linda. Great question. William, thank you so much for your kind words. Folks, I hope you have a great rest of the week. Thank you so much for being here today. And we look forward to having you, your friends and family on board soon with Railbookers. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.